Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. This is the Great and Powerful Zilla, and today we're going to do a War Thunder video. That's right, just the planes part, though. Okay? And what we're going to do today, since last time we did the Americans that I had, we're going to do the Luftwaffe. All right, we're going to do the German ones that I have. Um, I still have no idea, really, what I'm doing in the game. <laughs> I'm still figuring it out. I don't know what any of this stuff over here means. I have no idea. Uh, I know the crew skills a little bit and armaments and whatnot and all that. I know that a little bit. But let's look at what I got and then we'll get into a game. I have the Heinkel 111. This is the variant H16. It carries two 1,000 pound bombs and a small 250 pound bomb. All right. It's a, it's a good plane, I guess. You know, it gets shot down rather easily. Um, I have two Stukas, the J Junkers 87 D3 and the variant D5, of which between the two, I haven't really discerned that much of a difference between them. Um, so, there's those. My fighters, I have a BF 109G to TROP, this served in North Africa, and the TROP part means this filter right here, all right? And I also have an Italian um, C202 Folgare, all right, which I really like the Italian planes, but, you know, they were what they were, all right. So we're going to take this into these into battle, and we're going to see what we can do in a, um arcade match, and I'll talk to you when we get there. Okay, <clears throat> this is the map. Uh, we're the blue, and our objective is to kill the red. <laughs> so, I uh, start off with the Heinkel 111, and I'm flying out there. And actually, this is a very pretty game. I, I love the look of it. I like flying around. I may not be the best. What I have not been able to discern is why some players are green on our team, and why some players are blue on our team. I can't figure that one out. But you know, eventually I'll find out. If you guys know, leave it in the comments. But I'm trying to figure out why that guy's green over there. And those guys over there are blue. So I'll figure it out eventually. I'll get the hang of it. Right now I'm being assaulted by a very, very active kitty cat who wants to play. So you'll excuse me. I'm going to pause this for a second. And we'll get back to it when I avert this crisis. All right, nothing says leave me alone, kitty, like Whiskers Temptations. These guys will go over nuts over Whiskers Temptations. So anyway, I was talking about the green and the blue, but right now I'm more concerned about the red. And if you look above me to the left, you will see a bunch of angry fighters that are going to be coming after me, and there's not much I can do about it. Um, this plane just doesn't have a lot of defensive armament. And uh, it doesn't have a lot of maneuverability. And while it's pretty to look at, uh, and it is very effective at attacking ground targets, not so much in defending itself. And as you can see, I'm now a flaming wreck. So, so much for the Heinkel 111. And we gotta wait for me to die. I haven't figured out which key it is, that you push to bail out of your plane. I haven't figured that out. Okay. So. As I make an indelible mark on the side of that mountain. I'm going to jump into a Junkers 87. Junkers 87. Stuka Gesheda. And uh, we'll see what we can do. Now the Stukas are best used against ground targets. Although there is a variant that has the 37 millimeter gun slung under each wing that's kind of a trolley bomber killer. Um, but it's actually, it was designed to go after ground targets. Now, the German Luftwaffe in World War II was well aware of the Stuka's limitations even in 1939. And by 1941 it was very clear that the Stuka was obsolete. They had been trying to develop its successor, but the 210 failed. The 410 was not much better. The Henschel 129 was okay, but it, it didn't do the job. So the Stuka served throughout the 
course of the war, and it was tremendously obsolete by 1945, easily shot down by Allied fighters. I'm going to do a little slow roll there, and we're going to come around. Fortunately, in arcade mode, um, you can't rip your wings off while you're diving, because this is faster than the Stuka could ever go, honestly. Um, so, we'll come down and we'll see if we can hit some ground targets. And, of course, as soon as anyone sees a Stuka, it's slow, it's not very defended, uh, it's hard to defend yourself in a Stuka. Uh, coming down against the ground targets, uh, as soon as anyone sees that, they're going to peel off and break off and go after the Stuka because it's a pretty, pretty easy kill. And I'm shooting for all I'm worth. I'm going to drop some bomb. There we go. And that apparently didn't hit a darn thing. So I'm going to drop another bomb. And we'll see if that hits something. Yep, hit two targets. But instantly wiped out uh, by the... Uh, what the heck is that? Two P-51s put together. I uh, was it F-82. I don't know. Anyway, uh, jump in the other Stukas. But basically the same thing. Rinse and repeat, right? And we're gonna go and see what this can do. Now, difference-wise, this one flies a little bit smoother. You know, it's a little bit more streamlined. Just a little bit. It is still a Stuka. Uh, there's no escaping that. So we're gonna come over here la, 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 and joke around and goof around. Honestly, every time I try to make a video, I get attacked by one of these kitties who demands attention, and they're not gonna be satisfied until they get a treat. Unfortunately, I have to give them a treat in order to do the video, but in doing so, I'm training them to misbehave to get a treat. That's not what I want. So, anyway. Those of you who own cats know what I'm talking about. Nothing is sacred. Everything needs to be knocked down to the floor. And again, I'm, I'm going after this armored column coming down the road. Our team is winning, by the way. If you look at the bar on the top, you see the blue and the red. We're the blue. They're the red. The red is getting shorter. So they're getting shot up. They're losing. And we've got some pretty high level bombers up there just decimating the enemy base. And look, my wings are gone. But I'm going to get a parting shot in here. I'm going to drop these bombs. So if I'm going down, I'm bombing them on the way down. <laughs> And that thing, yeah, I'm, I stand a chance against the sea fire, right? So we're gonna see if we can't get some revenge. I'm gonna bring up the BF 109, and this is a really sharp plane. It's pretty snappy. It's pretty fast. Carries good weaponry. Um, you know, truth be told, the Messerschmitt 109 probably served a little bit too long in World War II as well. The 190 was a much better fighter. But in a, it depended on the hands of the pilot. Right now, they're in the hands of a true tomato. And I'm going to peel off of that. I'm going to go after that. That guy's shot down. Uh, there's P-38. Now, when you get on someone's tail and within range, what happens is there's a little lead indicator that comes up on a plane. It's a little bitty circle. You'll see it in the video. And that's where you're supposed to shoot. The problem that you run into sometimes here is that your friends get in the way. So I shot at him. I got one hit off on him. I'm going to bank it right around, try and catch up with him. P-38, good luck with that, right? So there he is. Now there's my friend. See how he's ducking in behind him? And I can't shoot or shouldn't shoot while he's there. So I shot him down. I'm going to go after this guy here. It's a Falk Wolf 190. And he was shot. 
So I'm now out of targets. So since I'm left with only my hull machine guns, I'm going to go ahead and strafe. until my 20 millimeters are reloaded. Come up into this draw, because I'm track that's ground fire that's coming up at me. And get on this guy's tail and see what I can do. Now again, look for that little circle. Stay on him, stay on him. He's, he's doing a good job. He's breaking contact and he broke contact. I believe that's a sea fire that's been after me pretty much this entire game. He shot down all my bombers. So there's a Hellcat up in front of me. That oh, sea fire's on my tail. Going back, bank it around, dive. Do what you got to do to avoid the fire. And I got it. Okay. So. And he did get me. Knocked my pilot out. But he got knocked out too. I'm wondering if that was a random shot. So anyway, I'm going to bring up my last plane. This is the Italian Folgari. One of my favorites. But it's terribly out-tiered in this game and terribly outclassed by other planes. But we're going to see what we can do. I, like I said, I have fun with the just flying around in these historical aircraft and some of these legendary aircraft. And I think you would too. It's pretty easy to play. I haven't figured out all the economic and mechanics of it um, that are in the game. And, uh, you know, crew skills and all that. I haven't figured all that out. But, you know, eventually I'll catch on again. Like I said, it's been years since I played this game, and well, there have been a lot of changes to the game. It used to be just planes, now they got tanks and they got ships and whatnot, too. I don't plan on going into them. But, um, you've got a whole bunch of red in front of me, and I'm not quite sure this is a good idea. But what the hell, you know, Leroy Jenkins, right? Banzai! Go in there and just shoot them all up. But instead, I decided to go low and see if I can't put some strafe on these targets over here. And when you're in a plane like this, being low and you know maneuverable and losing your wing is not a good thing, so end up dying. But, spoiler alert, the team ends up winning the game in the end. So... Yeah, not a very majestic group, uh, view for El Duce, but uh, we'll go back to the hangar and see what this is. See, I don't know what any of this stuff is, honestly. You see all that stuff on the left? I looked at it, I was like, what? <laughs> I don't know what that is. But anyway, the Luftwaffe. You can play the Luftwaffe too. All you got to do is download War Thunder. Until next time, you guys be good to each other. Have a great, great day. Bye.